Jimmy, I'm here with good news. Awesome. I love good news. You've moved on from Jimmy Newbie Reefer. But that's like my handle on YouTube and on Instagram. So I think I'm always going to be Jimmy Newbie Reefer, but I love that I'm not actually a newbie anymore. Okay, so we'll keep your YouTube and Instagram handles so you don't have to lose all your followers and reset and restart. All 40 of them or whatever it is. <laughs> I remember when I had two followers. So Jimmy, I now dub you Jimmy Experienced Reefer. Ooh, because I do have a little experience and I speak some lingo now. Phosphate, nitrate, skimmer, water change, Vargas cestularia. Yeah, I've got a, a new language I didn't have. There's a significant point that you've already hit because a couple of things have happened to you in your reefing experience, which happens to people who are in the game about as long. So to set some context for everyone, Jimmy's about 10 months roughly in this process. So you now have some experience and you haven't quit despite a couple of things happening. Number one, if someone gets to this point, this includes you, Jimmy, you've spilled a significant amount of water somewhere in your house, whether in your garage, in the mixing station, laundry room, around your tank, am I right? Um, more than once. And sadly, I, <laughs> I, sadly, I didn't have cameras rolling or I chose not to capture it because those were embarrassing moments. Like when I took my RO day I unit and decided I'm just going to let it turn it on and go right into the, into the five gallon bucket that I bring in here. And then I forgot that I left it on <laughs> until the water was coming in the kitchen. <laughs> That happened like two weeks ago, dude. I don't think I told you. No, didn't tell me. I was, oh, I'm going to tell you really quick because I was standing in the kitchen with my cousin Bill who lives with me. Um, we I have a house together and um, I'm like, oh, shit. did the dog pee right there? And I'm like, wait a second. It's coming out from like the laundry room door underneath. I'm like, no. So I have all that redundancy built in to go into my mixing station, into my bucket, but I just took the hose out and, and thought, I, you know, it's just five gallons. It's going to take a little while. I, I, I'm going to make some cookies or whatever. Forgot about it. Something that hasn't happened to you, but often happens is there's been some kind of major tank meltdown in a sense. Usually what happens is people don't quarantine fish, then they get a disease in their tank and it takes down a lot of fish they get really stressed out about it, which is understandable. Luckily that didn't happen to you because we've been quarantining all your fish. The other thing that happens is there's some kind of major tank event, whether it be you've lost a lot of coral, hasn't happened to you, that's good. Or you have some kind of fish aggression issue, which you did happen with Ethan Hunt. Hmm. I'm hoping it's just Ethan because I haven't added any new fish yet to, to, to see. This has been pretty stable since Ethan's been out of there. My uh, Falco hawkfish. Despite all this water spills, the Ethan Hunt, you know, challenge, what do you say has kept you going and want to keep you in the hobby through all that? Well, I, I don't think a lot has changed for me because it still was kind of that, that dream I had from so long ago. I mean, I grew up watching PBS Jacques Cousteau and I was always fascinated by the ocean. I lived in Minnesota. Then when I moved to Florida, my son and I got scuba certified. I worked at the big aquarium at Disney. I, I spend lots of time in here just looking. Um, my daughter's birthday was yesterday. She turned 25 and she had a birthday party with all of her friends here. And my wife's like, oh, I'm going to go clean the tank. So she was in here cleaning. It's probably the most cleaning she's done, but that's awesome because we enjoy it together. So that's what's kept me really going is it's become more than just me. My wife loves it as well. And it becomes this focal point in our house. Like you said, someone's coming over. You're like, most people are like, I gotta clean the toilet. And you're like, I gotta clean the fish tank kind of. Oh shoot, we didn't clean the toilet yesterday. We just left, we didn't clean the toilet before our guests came. We could just clean the fish tank. They just, they want to see the fish tank. That's it. A lot of people never even get to where you are because they hit some kind of bump in the road 
and then they get out, they're like, this was a dumb hobby, and you see the tank on Craigslist for next to nothing, and they're done. Someone told me once the difference between an average reefer and an experienced, you know, more advanced reefer is how many times they've hit a bump in the road, maybe even had like the whole tank melt down, whatever that looks like on that level, and they kept going. They didn't quit, and they run through it, and they understand that, look, you're dealing with a living thing, I'm dealing with a living thing, anyone who's got a tank who's watching the show, they're dealing with a living thing. Like, this isn't just like a structure that you build and then you're like, okay, I'm done. Like, this is constantly changing every single moment, but you're not giving up because you understand that. But having you as a resource is, is fantastic because, I mean, I just call you for everything. So I don't know when I'm ever going to be able to cut the lifeline to Mr. Mr. Saltwater Tank. But uh, uh, yeah, thanks, Mark. So there's a couple other things that I'm willing to bet, Jimmy, that you may not even know, but this is something as you're entering this experienced reefer mindset, you also look at your tank and you're like, oh, you know what? I'm willing to put more money and time into it, whether that be like specifically automation. Like you're thinking about how can I automate things? I'd like to have more control over my tank. I'd like to be away from the tank, be able to check in on it, see how things are going. You're less and less willing to just kind of leave it to chance and like leave town and be like, well, I'm just checked out. Whatever happens with the tank happens, I'm out. Yeah, it's funny that you bring that up right now because I just worked three days in Atlanta and then I'm home for two days. Then I'm out of town for another day, home for three days and then gone for another three. I'm in DC next week. So that's totally on my mind right now because um, my wife's been feeding the fish, but I'm also asking her, does everything look healthy i mean is there a lot of scum on there did you check the the um i put two five gallon buckets and showed her how to move the pump from one to the other so i have 10 gallons of rodi water over there um in my auto top off so yeah i'm i'm totally thinking about that right now we'll get to that but again no one gets to that point unless they have success and they work through the hurdles which also means you mentioned earlier you're looking at new fish I'm also willing to bet you're also thinking about more corals for your tank, maybe even wanting some hard corals. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the corals I have now, um, most of them are doing really good. But man, I don't know if you can see it from there. My clam's getting huge. He's got, he's all white in here. He's probably doubled in size since I got him. It's a good thing that I put that Vargas on a, its own rock because um, it's like, it's growing down into the sand now. Um, I, I, you know, I always thought that corals took a really, really, really long time to grow, but some of these, they seem to really be moving good. I mean, they're growing. Well, now you have the experienced reefer crown, which is truly a mindset because you've been through hurdles, you live through hurdles, you know that's part of it, but you're not willing to quit. And you got the tank to show for it, the sky's the limit from this point. Yeah, it sure is. It's awesome. I'm super excited. Let's go get you some more fish. We're working on that. Let's go get you some more corals. I'm going to come visit you before too long, so you better clean up your tank because you know I'm going to be watching when I come there. I want to see what you've done in person. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. Awesome.